for this group of NC State players. Now, though, they take on an in-state rival, the top seed, and a team playing extremely well. The last time NC State won it was way back in 1987. DJ Horn, who's been coming off the bench because of a hip flexor suffered last week, is back in the lineup. Jaden Taylor will not start, rolled his ankle last night. Here's the double on Burns. They put the double on and took it off quickly just to stop the back down. Turn around by Horn will drop through. Elliot Cadeau has had two very good games against North Carolina State, and his penetration is excellent. Right on cue. I'm rounding up. <laughs> You're so generous. O'Connell open. Knocks down a three, and he continues to score at a much higher rate than he made the last 17 games combined. Davis got caught on Burns. Bay caught over to help. Horn open. And what a start for the pack. And go inside and play inside out. That's their game. Which is what State's doing now with Burns. No double here. Big fellas going at it. And Burns wins. A great job by NC State to get back and thwart that break. Diara for three. Yes! And State leads by ten. Davis the kick. Withers the drive. Off balance, it'll go. Well, Withers have made, has made a great contribution of late coming off the bench. Last three games, he's averaging over six and a half rebounds. DJ Horn is hot in the early going. Everybody thought that NC State was going to slow the tempo down. They're not. They're trying to get down the floor and get something early. Morcel went flying, and then R.J. Davis knocks down the jumper. Like a sleeping dog, right? And some of their guards on the bench are yapping. You're going to see right here. It makes a step. Carolina anyways. Davis again. O'Connell ahead to Diara. Lee Cassell was trying to warn Diara, hey, don't hang on it that long afterwards. But I like the fact they didn't call it technical. Horn off the screen. Floater. Oh, boy. D.J. Horn off to a great, great start tonight already with nine. Well, Trimble's been good in this tournament for the Heels, especially two nights ago against Florida State. And great defensively. Baycock with the jumper, his first field goal of the game. Burns comes out to get a touch. He can hit it. And he does. Not just the post guy. Ingram draws the double. Ingram gets it back and hits the three. Tennessee got run. Duke got run in this event by NC State. So here Carolina, the one seed. They had a magnificent game against Florida State in the quarters. Beat them by 25. And then beat a very game and determined group of Pitt Panthers. 72-65 in the semis. He's the one guy who didn't play on Tuesday because of the hip flexor. They sat him out. They were playing Louisville. They were able to win without him. So for him, just his fourth and fourth and four days. Jaden Taylor, bad ankle and all. Okay, how about four assists? And we know he's a great passer. How about four assists already for Burns? But he couldn't keep up with Davis there. Davis has extraordinary speed with the ball. It's by the heels. In the first game between these two, they dominated on the offensive glass. Davis steps back and hits it. How good is that? Did that life is R.J. Davis. Great help by Michael O'Connell, but the great step back. R.J. Davis just made a spectacular individual play. The Wolfpack have led by as many as 10. It's down to three. Morcel with a tough one on the baseline. And when Casey Morcel plays aggressively, NC State's a different team. Cadeau and Nguyen. By Armando Baycott. How's it going in to Burns? Instead, it'll be a baseline drive by Horn, left it short. Davis, another three, hits again! And three, another step back in transition, goes into the body of O'Connell, splash, splash. Carolina.
And four guards around D.J. Burns right now for State. Boy, Burns looked like he lost it and almost kind of volleyball tapped it up into the bucket. His footwork is fantastic. Under four to go in the first half. Horn, another floater and another basket. It's really up to Armando Baycott to step up there. He kept retreating toward the basket. Baycott walks into a jumper and ties the game. He's got six. Tremble helpful as he was coming by to reach in. Shot clock running down. Taylor slips. Burns for three. Oh, boy! Left hand inside, and then with the shot clock going down, he knocks down his first three of the year. Coach Keats, let me shoot more of those. <laughs> two at the elbows, two in the corners. Good help, but open is Burns. And he's got two more, 11 points and five assists for D.J. Burns tonight. Well, oh, that was over help by Armando Baker. He can't stay on the ball that long. They just don't want to rush anything right now with D.J. Horn on the bench for those three fouls. And again, it's Burns. And again, the double. Good pass. And another assist for Burns. The bucket for Ross. And State backs up, is back on top. To go to Davis. Davis to Ryan. Gets it off and hit it. Cormac Ryan bangs home a three at the end of the first half. At the end of the half for Carolina, Cormac Ryan getting free in the corner, using the shot fake, getting the shot off. So it's the Tar Heels by one at halftime with an ACC tournament championship on the line. How about Burns playing over 16 minutes in the first half? Baycock playing over 17. And they're going at it again. Boy, is he skilled. See, they, they don't want him passing out for open threes. Oh, a steal by Baycott. Ingram, a corner three. Oh, and what a mistake there by State. Now watch this steal by Armando Baycott. Diara, just a lazy pass trying to get it to Michael O'Connell. And Baycott takes it away. It leads to a wide open three, and DJ Burns. Baycott pushing Burns out almost to the three-point line. He gets where he wants to get, and he banks it home. Here they go again. And he hits again. Now this is what he did to Duke. He wound up with 27 points, but Duke played him one-on-one -on -one in the post to shut everybody else down. Burns goes down. They play on, and Baycott banks it home. Had a 16 rebound performance. Had a 14 and a 12, and he's got seven tonight. Morcel the turnaround on this game. And it's been on both ends of the floor. A little turnaround jumper, and that is not an easy shot. That's over the left shoulder to start it. And it's back to a six-point advantage for the 10 seed. Where is this energy coming from for NC State? Davis steps in and buries it. Carolina needs to get the ball inside more often. They do right there. Could go with a 50 feet into Baycott. Just a little side pick and roll. And Baycott's got those three fouls. Burns up and in. Does it again. Morcell for three. Davis the rebound for the Tar Heels. Back from Cadeau. And Davis lays it in. That is Carolina basketball. And how beautiful was that? The give and go. Now this is the previous one where R.J. Davis gives it up, gets it right back, and goes right around. I'm guessing they try to keep him as far away from R.J. Davis as they can on the defensive end. O'Connell pulls up and hits. Wow. see State playing five out. Horn sizing up Ryan and hits it. What a big shot. Carolina needs to put him in some action. Go right at D.J. Horn. Davis from the corner with the answer. It's a long two for Carolina. Crossover. Floater. Yes. Initially counted as a two. Here's the floater. How much fun is it? And a great bounce pass, but Diara missed the reverse. 
Got it back and puts it in. It looked like he got fouled as well. That's 10 rebounds now for Muhammad Diara. Horn again playing with four fouls. 21 points tonight for State. Takes a bump and hits. And DJ Horn just getting between defenders, splitting him and picking up that foul. Never took his eyes off the Again, State not only playing for an ACC tournament championship, they need to win this game to get into the NCAA tournament, one would assume. Baycott banks it in. Big upset of Duke. And then Virginia in overtime last night. Another teardrop for R.J. Davis. It's a five-point game. Both starting to stand in the building, wearing both blue and red. What a pass. Diara gathers, blocked from behind by Baycott. A good recovery by Baycott. Get out of here, DJ. Horn wanted to take Ingram, but instead it's into Burns. He's doubled. There goes the double. There's the open three. And Morcel hits it. State by eight. And that's the reason that doubling is so difficult on DJ Burns. Davis rejected by Diara. Is he going to back him down from that far out? Good pass into Horn, who lays it in. <laughs> Just a great cut from the weak side. Just a step and go all the way to the rim. Harrison Ingram couldn't block it. Carolina came all the way back, had the lead briefly here in the second half, and now skates up 11, but a steal by Davis to get it down to nine. Under three to go, and Hubert Davis wants the full court pressure. Knocked out of bounds, still Carolina ball, 8.2 to go. <laughs> they have had an unbelievable week. Ingram for three. And that is going to do it. A remarkable, astounding week for the North Carolina State Wolfpack. And let the celebration begin in Raleigh.